he has to come and meet the Lord of the Arsh and Kursi, the Lord of the seven heavens and the earth. And he has to come and stand before Allah in such a condition. On that day, my friend, there will be no barrier. There will be no barrier between you and Allah. There will be no mutarjim. There will be no one that will translate for you. No, my young friend. There will be no wall, no barrier. You will come and you will stand in front of the greatest of all beings on a day when Allah will be angry like never before. Allah will never have been angry like this before this. And Allah will never be angry like this after this. You will come and you will stand before the Lord of the Arsh and Kursi. When even the Anbiya Ali Salatu Wasalam, those free from sin, those that have never done any wrong, even they will be terrified from Allah and they will be saying, Nafsi, Nafsi, Nafsi. Johnny Five will come and stand before the Lord of the Arsh and Kursi in the court of Allah. And when he comes to the court of Allah, my young friends, he will find there are thousands and thousands of people in the court of Allah waiting to bring a charge against him. These are the same people who he used to steal from to fulfill his habit. These are the same people while he was out of it, he used to abuse. While he was out of it, he used to oppress. While he was out of it, he used to swear to these people. These people in their thousands are waiting in the court of Allah to bring a charge against him. The book of Allah, the Quran will also be in the court of Allah. And the Quran will also bring a charge against him because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, any believer, any person who had even one verse of the Quran inside his heart and which believer doesn't have a verse of the Quran, every believer come as come knows the verse is called oh Allah had, or the verses of Surah Al-Fatiha. And then he took an intoxicant thereafter. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Every letter of that verse will bring a charge against him on the day of judgment. And anyone the Quran brings a charge against, he will perish, he will perish, he will perish. What do you think his outcome will be? He hasn't even answered the questions yet. He hasn't answered any question. And the questions will be there. I gave you a life. 50 years of age, 60 years of age, you know, some of you even clocked a century and you were 100 plus. What did you do with that life? Did you fulfill your purpose in life? I gave you youth so that you could, you know, worship me even more. What did you do with your youth? Your wealth, where did you get it from? Where did you spend it? Your knowledge, what did you do with it? What will his answers be? My friends, never mind the day of judgment, I can tell you his outcome now. If the mercy of Allah is not with Johnny Five, and I repeat again, if the mercy of Allah is not with Johnny Five on that day, my young friends, then he will realize the biggest mistake of his life, that that one pound, that one dollar, that one spliff that he took has purchased for him a ticket to hell. Oh, you fool. How foolish is this? One dollar to hell.